Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Friday, the 12th of April. A 15-year-old boy is in a critical condition after being run over by a car multiple times in the Waikato town of Ngarua Wahia. He was struck while walking on Old Taupari Road on Wednesday night. Police believe the driver of the car purposely targeted the victim. They've seized a black Toyota Aorus and would like anyone who saw the car or has any information to come forward. Police have arrested two people after a shooting following an abandoned rugby game in Hawke's Bay over the weekend. Shots were fired at a van carrying rugby players from the match in Hastings. Jacob Jones has more. The two suspects face charges of reckless driving and unlawful assembly. They appeared in the Hastings District Court yesterday and will reappear in the coming weeks. Police say more arrests are imminent as they continue their inquiries. Several vehicles tied to the event have also been seized. Pharmac's decision to fund several medications will potentially help 30,000 Kiwis. Treatment funding for ovarian cancer, lung disease and HIV has been approved following a public consultation. Two other medications, one for a rare condition affecting blood vessels and the other for those at high risk of getting shingles will have wider access. The Green Party is calling on New Zealanders to flood the government with submissions on its fast-track consenting scheme. The legislation is part of resource management law reforms and will give ministers the final say on greenlighting major infrastructure projects. Political reporter Demelza Jackson has more. Greens co-leader Marama Davidson says thousands have signed an open letter warning it's a blatant disregard for environmental protection. She says they're now organising for as many submissions as possible to go directly to the select committee. The party has launched a step-by-step guide on its website which it says will help New Zealanders make their voices heard. Community support is now the focus for the South Island's West Coast emergency management as the wet weather system moves north. A severe thunderstorm watch is in place for parts of the central North Island and East Coast until 9 tonight. Westland District Mayor Helen Lash says everything's under control. Not out of this any shot yet, just as far as tidying up. We know there's a bit more rain to come, but we've got this. But my thoughts do go out to other places around the country that are still trying to address what's coming their way. And trains have stopped near the Rangitata because of bridge damage. The Prime Minister won't be drawn on questions around new evidence relating to puberty-blocking medication. It comes as Britain's National Health Service last month banned the routine use of the hormonal drug outside of clinical trials. Our Health Ministry is waiting for more information before commenting. Chris Luxon says that's the right approach. Obviously the, our own um, Ministry of Health is coming forward with some uh, thoughts and reaction to what we've seen in the UK. Uh, again, we'll let that process run out. In sport, injuries to batter Finn Allen and bowler Adam Milne have opened the door for a Black Caps bolter, with uncapped all-rounder Zach Folks named for the T20 cricket tour to Pakistan. US golf great Tiger Woods will have to battle his body as well as Augusta National as he plays 23 holes in one day after darkness, darkness that is, halted proceedings on the opening day at the Masters. The Central Pulse netballers will be without Silver Ferns shooter Tiana Metuaro for their ANZ Premiership season opener against the Northern Stars on Sunday. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.